Hi, Gemini. What's up, guys? I hope everybody is well. So we're going to go ahead and do just a general what spirit wants you to know reading. If that's something that interests you, stick around. Gemini, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's going to have any information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe, you tribe. So go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Gemini, if you're returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well. Hope you're taking care of yourself. I do hope that you are doing what's best for you. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Gemini, thank you so much for all the good vibes. It really does mean the world, okay? Interesting. With Nourish the Shadow coming out. And then Breakthrough. Okay, see, because I was already kind of getting a message. So I had a vision when I was like, like, okay, I'm going to focus on getting into Gemini's energy and we're going to do a reading for him. I saw this meme. Yes, my guides speak to me through memes. It was of a orca, a killer whale, and it was like swimming around this guy in the ocean, okay? Um, I guess this guy was like paddle boarding or something out there. Well, this guy was like freaking out, okay? Like he was paddling so fast, his little feet were like, okay? Um, and you know, orcas can swim 35 miles an hour all right they're the top predator in the freaking ocean okay they actually like humans that's why they don't attack us i think there's only been like one attack in uh, on a human in the wild obviously in captivity that's a different circumstance but in their natural habitat they are they like humans so and you could see with the orca how the orca was like on its back and flipping its little wings or <laughs> Love their wings, their flippers, whatever they are. Um, it really wanted to play. Like, it was not trying to hurt this uh, surfer or swimmer or whatever. But that swimmer was terrified, okay? Um, it was the funniest thing I ever saw. But I kind of got the energy that, Gemini, maybe that's the effect you have on people or that's how you feel. Or maybe that's how somebody has made you feel. Like, you're either the orca or you are the swimmer, right? And that's interesting that we pulled the moon, too, because the moon does talk about a certain depth. It talks about, you know things being beneath the surface, right? Um, the not so obvious. And I do think of the, the ocean when I think of the moon, especially the connection there between the moon and the oceans. Um, and I do think about how the ocean is really nothing to play with. It's very deep. It's, you know, you have to respect the ocean, right? And there could be something about that with your energy, Gemini, like you are to be respected. And it's not in a negative, like, respect my authority type of energy. It's just there's a depth here that doesn't come, people don't come across often, okay, is the energy I'm getting. So that's why it's so interesting that Nourish the Shadow came out because I do feel like that's, at least the Geminis I'm talking to right now, that is what, I don't know if you like to do it so much, but you do, okay? You do nourish your shadow. You do delve into your shadow self. You do look at your inner child and the traumas and the wounds that are there. You do face the uncomfortableness within yourself and also sometimes with others because, yes, you are a mirror, right? So I'm getting something like that here with nourishing the shadow, um, being really deep, Gemini, okay? And you kind of like it in the deep end, like, you know, like, I don't know, Gemini, I feel like, yeah, you can go flip around in the shadow end if you really want to but you really do enjoy being in the deep end of life okay um I don't know if you have water in your chart perhaps you have some really significant placements with water you might cusp with cancer Gemini okay so there's a natural kind of depth to you I also get that you're very intuitive all right and I know that I read for a lot of spiritualists so that's kind of already a given um but whatever I'm still gonna say it because that's what I'm getting okay you're very intuitive Gemini and I do feel like your intuition is growing especially as you work on your inner child as you work on your traumas some of you who maybe didn't really see yourself as an intuitive maybe you just felt like you know I trust my instincts right I have good instincts um you're maybe starting to change your perspective a little bit about this and maybe know that there's something there besides just a baser lower level instinctual type of behavior that any animal on the planet can possess right like I feel like we have this ability that's put within us to have fear you know to keep us safe okay so 
um, or to be happy to know when we're we're on the right path, right? Things like that, okay? I feel like there's natural instincts, but there's also something that's deeper. And I do feel like you're starting to notice that if you haven't already. If you are already very spiritual or very like in tune with your emotions and that you know that you're very intuitive already, you consider yourself psychic, this is increasing. This is getting like a laser point focus, especially the more that you delve into your shadow, Gemini. And it's not like, you know, it's not like Bane from Batman and like embracing the darkness and like I am the darkness. It's not like that kind of energy, but like, again, just putting that magnifying glass on the shadow aspects of yourself and wanting to heal them, wanting to work better or be better, excuse me. I do also feel like there's something about confronting your inner child here. Um, there's like difference there's different energies here that I'm getting. Like some of you guys have an inner child that screams at you like a bully and you just can't shut that bitch up no matter what you do, okay? It just talks to you nag, nag, nags constantly. I kind of have that inner child. My inner child is a, a bully, okay? I don't know why, but she is sometimes. Um, and it's only like a bully towards me. <laughs> That's the thing, like nice and giving everybody else the benefit of the doubt in the freaking world, but not me. I don't get the benefit of the doubt. So there could be something like that going on, but I'm also getting the energy of an inner child that's really afraid. Like um, some of you guys, I don't know, there's something there where you're just, you, there's a lot of anxiety and your inner child likes to talk you out of stuff and, you know, likes to keep you extra safe. So pushes people, places, things away that might be good for you, but no, cause they cause too much change, too much chaos. And we're definitely used to change and chaos, okay? Um, I think in my, with my inner child, my grow how I grew up is like only the tough survive. It was very much like Sparta. Okay. And my family, like if you didn't have a tough skin, if you couldn't take an emotional punch sometimes, like you weren't going to survive. Okay. Um, so I think that's why my inner child's like, buck up, bitch. Okay. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I went off on that tangent, Gemini. And I'm sorry if you had to fast forward, but that's kind of the energy I'm getting. I feel like there's a breakthrough here and you are like almost deading something, like ending something thing here Gemini within yourself some kind of cycle that you definitely have seen or noticed okay I do feel like there's a, again an, an intense depth to you is what I'm getting with this moon energy okay maybe sometimes you you yourself with your light that you have you sometimes put like the spiritual spotlight on people and you're not even trying okay or maybe you are but I get for the most part it's natural okay the moon is very bright when it's full, right? And it's full illumination um, when it's full and completing a cycle because that is what the full moon is. It's a completion of its cycle, right? And I feel like there's something there with when you complete your cycles and your inner trauma, there's something how you're full too and you're, you illuminate very bright. Some of you guys could have Sagittarius in your chart with the horse, but um, Cancer, Pisces, obviously. But some of you guys could have really intense eyes too. I'm getting that. Whether they're dark, light, but I am getting lighter eyes. Um, and I do feel like they're piercing. Like they, like people don't want to look in your eyes, Gemini, when they know that they've done something wrong or they know that they're lying. It's, it's very hard. Um, and sometimes I get the energy of like, even if you, they haven't done anything wrong, it's like your, your soul, again, it just shines through or something onto people where they feel like that. See, you might trigger people a lot. <laughs> like, you might trigger people a lot. Like, you know, people don't feel good enough. People don't feel enlightened enough, smart enough, funny enough, whatever enough. Like, and you're not, I don't think you're really expecting anything from anybody. Except for them to be authentic, please. Please and thank you. You know, but that's about it. So, I don't know, Gemini. I feel like, yeah, it's a hard knock life. <laughs> Oh, the orca that's like in the ocean it's like what the hell <laughs> nobody wants to play every single time I swim up and I flip my little flipper they think I'm gonna eat them or something <laughs> I don't even eat humans right <laughs> like, I don't know there's something like that Gemini okay anyways <clears throat> excuse me let's go ahead and get into this a little bit more <laughs> yeah Okay, so Gemini, I do feel like, again, there's something about you where you make an impact, like a ripple effect, just your energy, okay? I get that very strongly, Gemini. I also feel like you're going to be getting, like, again, more in, like, in, like, you're, 
intuitive messages are going to start being more intense. You might have been like the type of person who only picked up on like maybe people around you and things like that. You might start getting like intuitive hits for like the global level or like on a bigger level in your community or for people who aren't around you, right? You might just suddenly hear somebody's voice like get, you know, like telepathy, okay? And hear what they've said about you. Some of you guys might just, it's almost like I'm getting this energy of like phasing in and out of different spiritual gifts. I don't know why they're showing me that, but they're showing me somebody here and then they phase and then they go over here and then they phase and they're over there. It's like phasing in and out of different spiritual gifts. Okay. That is for somebody. Some of you guys might feel something big is coming here. It might be on a global level. It might be in your community. I don't know. Maybe something is about to happen and you're being, um, I don't want to say forewarned about it, but maybe you are getting some kind of intuitive hit about something Gemini. So if that if that resonates for you, then that's definitely a confirmation, okay? So you guys might get a letter or something and you're like, wow, I knew that was coming, okay? I'm getting the energy and I got this in the most recent reading. I think it was about ancestors and guides, um, but it was ancestors, I believe, that are really connected to you, like your friend's ancestors or your lover's ancestors or... Um, even sometimes like people that you would consider like an enemy or they would consider you an enemy, Gemini. Um, I feel like their ancestors like to hang around you or their guides like to hang around you. There's something about that. I don't know what that is. Yeah, you like draw people in or you draw even like spiritual beings in, okay? Like your guides love to just be around you. Your ancestors love to just be around you. There's something about when you perform or you do something that you're very talented with, Gemini, okay? This doesn't just have to be like performing, but if you do perform, like you get up on stage, you dance, you sing, you do something like that, your ancestors are definitely in the crowd or your guides or your spiritual support team. Like, yes, they are in the crowd. They really enjoy um, watching you, okay? All right, let's get another card out here. What do we have here for Gemini, please? Somebody else enjoys watching your ass too, Gemini. I'm telling you right now, you are definitely like very magnetic. Like people are drawn into you. And I feel like you have a very large impact on people around you. You might really help people like heal things within themselves, form better connections with themselves, heal again past trauma. Because the black and white for me always, it, it just gives like nostalgia, okay? Um, so heal something from the past within themselves. You could definitely help people here, Gemini. Um, heal their relationships. Maybe you're a relationship therapist or you do something where you help families out. You help families get um, stay together or be together or something like that. I don't know, Gemini. Maybe you do something inspirational or maybe you have a YouTube channel or maybe you get up and you speak or you go around to different places and you speak. You might um, give spiritual messages or something for some of you for sure. I'm getting that energy though of like a lot of people like to watch you, especially when things are rough in their life or they like to see, um, it's almost like for some of you guys, if you are tarot readers or you give spiritual messages, yes, they look at you like the damn weather forecast or the news or something like what's going on on these spiritual streets today, okay? I need to tune into Gemini. Like, you know, that's the energy that I'm getting for some of you guys. But I do feel like people around you are just like, they like to watch you or like they're inspired by you in some way, okay? For sure. Um, some of you guys definitely have somebody who lurks a little bit and watches you. I feel like this person likes to watch you in secret or they don't like to let you know how much that they do watch you, okay? This person might watch you when they're alone, in bed, at night. It might literally look like this, <laughs> okay? Like, I'm serious. I'm so serious. It might look like that. But I feel like if that's the case, for some of you guys, you have impacted this person's life greatly. Um, whether that's in a positive or a negative way, my G, okay? But either way, you have definitely impacted this person's life. I feel like it's a mixed bag with all that just flying out. <laughs> I feel like your guys are like, Nee right? Nee. It's a little bit of both. For some of you guys, people hate watch you for sure, okay? Um, we already know that, Gemini, but do we want to focus on them? No, okay? Um, I feel like there's also people that connect with you, like soul fam, okay? That's another message I was getting too, like spirit really wants, and I, I, I already know spirit like talking to me here, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it out for y'all too, Gemini, okay? Because I feel like it was definitely a message for just everybody on a collective level to stop giving so much attention to haters, to negative comments, to the negative energy, to the negatives that you see when you look in the mirror or just anything like that. Start really 
putting your focus on the positives, the positives in people, the positives in yourself, the positives in the situation versus the negatives in the situation. You know, that's also going to help you decide if you even want to invest in a situation, first of all, because if there's more negatives than positives or more positives than negatives, that's really going to help you decide. But if you're only focused on the negative, that can really get you in trouble. Yes, it's going to help save you from some things, right? But not everything. It's like when you build these big old walls and these moats and you got the pit bulls and the alligators and the, you know, <laughs> rock, paper, scissor champions out there trying to, before anybody can get past, okay? You got all that going on and that's great, but there's, our, there's also good energy that's going to be like, man, I ain't going through all that, bye. Like, you know? Like, so you have to be careful with just, I don't know, Gemini. Anyways, I feel like really Gabby and talky tonight, so I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and continue forward, right? That was way too many. What else do we have for Gemini? Gemini. Gemini. I feel like somebody's somebody's into you. I feel like somebody feels a really strong soul connection to you, okay? I also feel like you have this impact on people in general. I am getting that energy, like a lot of people. And this person, listen, there's a double message there, okay? So for some of you guys, yes, you do have this impact on people where a lot of people feel bonded to you, like on a soul level. And it could be because of whatever energy you give off, like, you know, like, the ripple effect of your energy makes it heals people or it shows people how to heal themselves or there's something like that. So yes, you do bond to people and people might get a little strange for some change around you. It's true. Okay. It's definitely true. And light workers have that energy. So do empaths. Okay. Which might be one of the same. I don't really know. All right. But I'm also getting this energy of somebody who feels very bonded to you. I am getting that energy of somebody who they feel like they met you for a reason. If this is this person that watches you, um, they feel like you've impacted their life greatly again, and that they were meant to meet you for a reason. And this goes beyond just romance, guys. Okay, this is not just about romance, it could be, of course, right? But I'm getting energy of like a best friend, a mentor. Um, a just a person in general that like you feel like, wow, I'm really happy that I came across this person or I met this person. They've impacted me greatly. They've really helped me dig deeper, look within myself. There's a nurturing energy with the Empress, okay? Divine feminine energy coming through. There's definitely like the divine mother, like a nurturing energy. This is also divine feminine with the moon. So I definitely feel like there is a nurturing energy here or a depth that you have that people do appreciate. And yeah, people do, again, they get, they feel very bonded. There's almost this energy too, if this is somebody in particular that we're talking about here, Gemini, which I feel like you'll know if it resonates, it does, okay? Um, I, I feel like this person feels like y'all plan to meet up this lifetime. Like it's a deal, right? And y'all did your little <laughs> secret handshake or whatever I don't know okay but there's something about that like it was like a deal that we're gonna meet up yeah look you cannot fucking make it up and why would you because spirit does it so much better than I ever could guys I promise there's really this energy here of like yeah you guys made a deal or something a lot of people might feel that way about you. Like you made a deal to meet each other at the right time. Could be to bring in some kind of balance here. I'm seeing with the chakra card. Uh, again, Sagittarius energy. We have Libra, Taurus energy as well. And then Pisces, Cancerian, of course. All right. Some of you guys, if this is this person that you feel like you made a deal with, or they made a deal with you, or there's a strong soul bond here, you've really impacted them, whatever, okay, if that resonates, I feel like there's been a lot of karmic energy that's trying to disrupt this, get in the way, or y'all have just individually had to fight off and go through, like y'all have really had to strategize how to make it out of dark energy or get out of like the grasp, the, uh, what is that? The grasp of dark energy is what I'm getting, the grip, I guess. Is there anything else from this deck before we put this up? With the Empress energy, Gemini, I feel like a lot of people find you to be very abundant too. Like there's something about you just make an impact. It's almost like people can depend on you in certain ways. They feel like if I put Gemini on this, I know it's going to get handled, right? Um, if I put Gemini in this group, I know that everything's going to be okay. You might catch a lot of flack. Look, you can't even make it up. I'm telling you, I was just thinking you might catch a lot of flack. A lot of people may be like, man, they try to test you or they try to knock you off your high horse is what I'm getting. Like, oh, Gemini thinks they're, Gemini thinks they're cute or Gemini thinks they know more or Gemini thinks they're so highly, um, elevated and all this good stuff like they try to knock you off I feel like your high horse and a lot of people might put you in like this 
silent competition that you're not really in. Like you're not competing with anybody. If anything, you might be competing with yourself a little bit and that's the, the problem. Yes, yeah, so I feel like you just kind of cleanse out any kind of negative energy. A lot of people might wonder about your strength too, like where you get your strength from. Like how are you able to transmute energy? Why are you so protected? Why is your hair so luxurious? <laughs> okay, I don't know Gemini, that's for somebody. Her hair does look really nice, okay? Um, like, why are you so pretty or why are you so young looking or, you know, some people might even look at you and think that you haven't been through all that you've been through based off of what you look like, but they will be sadly mistaken. That's just the energy I'm getting because I feel like she is very beautiful. That's why I chose her as the divine feminine. She's very beautiful, but she also looks like she cut your ass too, if necessary. <laughs> I don't know. That's just kind of the vibes she gives me. Um, so people might, male or female guys, I know there's a lot of feminine energy, but this is definitely for my masculines too, okay? But there's this energy of like people think that you're gorgeous or that you're very attractive or you look somewhat angelic or even childlike, again, for some of you, especially feminine energy because there's something about you that's really like a youthful look. But that's Gemini's in general. We do have youthful looks. We age very well for the most part. Um, so I don't know, but there's something about that. I feel like people wonder how you cleanse out your energy. I, I feel like you give a lot to spirit. You give a lot to your ancestors. You really work hard on, you know, reflecting on yourself and why you feel the way you feel, right? You don't just look at this, this band of the ripple out here when something happens to you. You don't just look there. You look here. You look dead center. What caused this? What is the root of this? What caused this ripple effect? There's something about you that, again, is very deep or very intense. That's just how you are naturally. You, you probably definitely, I don't even know why I would say this because this is so freaking obvious at this point. You definitely have a lot of ancestral like support, okay? My nose constantly itches when I read for you guys. Not all the time, but like in this reading, yes. It's like, you know, you have a lot of ancestral support. Again, I feel like that's because you have been through so much and you give so much. Gotta be careful with that too, okay? Like letting your intuition drown you or letting the ocean get a hold of you or going out too deep and staying out there, right? Like there's that kind of energy. Like sometimes you guys have to reel it back in. At least to the Gemini's I'm talking about, this reading clearly is not gonna resonate for everybody. Um, I feel like there's this energy of having to reel it back in sometimes, like you can get a little bit too much into the 5D or a little too floaty or a little out in space. People might kind of mistake that energy too for ditziness, but you're like literally like just having tea time with spirit, like getting all these downloads and going through ascensions and light codes I'm hearing for some of you guys, if that's what something that happens for you. Um, so there's just all this energy that's going on around you and people are just like, they're always like staring off in the fucking corner and drooling. What's wrong? <laughs> I'm sorry. They're giving me that energy from, um, True Blood with Suki Stackhouse when she can read people's minds and, the, you know, she smiles when she's, uh, she feels anxious. We have that in common. I smile like a freaking idiot. I bet you people think the same thing. And she reads their minds and they're like, why is she always smiling like that? I think she's tar tar. <laughs> like, you know, I feel like that's kind of the energy. Like people, you're very unassuming basically is what I'm getting here. Let's go ahead and get some tarot guys. <laughs> We've been talking for 23 minutes. Okay. Yeah. The magician, I feel like people do think you have magical powers, Gemini, and maybe you do, but for some of you, yeah, it's something that you've definitely practiced and you've worked on and you do actual magic, you do actual rituals and spells and all of that good stuff. Right. Um, but for others of you, it's just natural. Like it's not something that you're necessarily, you've made like a ritualistic energy out of it. It's just something that is natural within you. Okay. Like, almost like self-taught but not even really trying to be self-taught you're just a natural manifester which we see that anyways here with this empress energy okay because she is the master manifester of the deck in my personal opinion obviously she there's a, a rival there with the magician but so let's see what do we have here let's go ahead and get into this so this ripple effect or just any, I guess, additional messages that you want to give Gemini with this ripple effect here. We have the temperance energy. See, I'm telling you, a lot of your energy actually goes out. But I do feel like you also absorb energy, you know, from everybody, from humanity, from the earth. 
because you're not just picking up the frequencies of humans, you're picking up the frequencies of animals and of plants and of nature, right? Of the planets up in the freaking um, sky and everything. So you are also like put it, bringing in a lot of energy just as much as you're putting out. That's why it's important that you do filter things, right? That you moderate yourself. Some of you guys might really try to stay away from people or not be in too large of crowds too often. Some of you guys cannot work out in the public anymore. You have to work for yourself or you have to work from home. Um, there's this energy here too of like monitoring how much social media you intake, like not making sure you don't read comments because sometimes, especially I've noticed on like Instagram, it's not so much on YouTube, but Instagram, it can be a really dark place. So, you know, if you kind of get caught up in the comments, you read things, you see everybody's opinions, I feel like everybody just takes their their chance to be so negative on the internet, you know, instead of being positive. So you see a lot of negativity, you pick it up. It's like when you pick up bubble gum on your shoe and you're like dragging along with you throughout your life. And now you're like, man, this planet sucks. People are assholes. This person's ignorant. Like it's like, and then now you're spewing negativity, you know? So I feel like you do moderate yourself here. There's something about, if you don't, you maybe you need to. There's something here about um, what you put into your body, okay? So what you eat, what you ingest, what you're being given, in spiritually for your messages or religious or whatever um like any ideologies and things like that um and then just also entertainment the music you listen to like I noticed like back in the day I used to love like the trap music and you know I wouldn't I would say some things but it's really vulgar like the music I listened to back in the day like tech nine and just I, it just really vulgar okay so and I wouldn't really listen to that now you know, like some of the music I hear and I'm just like, and I used to love it, you know, and I'm just like, yeah, it's got a catchy beat, but they're talking about screwing people and discarding them and, you know, <laughs> having unprotected sex and then sending them out of the country. It's like some of the lyrics, when you really listen to the lyrics, you're just like, what am I ingesting here? What am I supporting? What am I going like, oh yeah, leave her pregnant and broke. Like, that's not cool at all. Like, you know, it's just really not. Um, so I don't know. There's something about that. Like maybe as you've grown spiritually, like you've really started to monitor what you listen to, what you watch, what you ingest, because yeah, there's a lot of negativity out there. You know, I don't really watch like tarot readings. If I do, I watch like pick a cards, but I don't really watch like Gemini readings or any kind of Zodiac readings on YouTube. I don't find that they resonate for me, to be honest with you. Um, but I did take a peek and some of it was downright terrifying. Some of the stuff I saw and I'm not going to call anything out or be specific or any of that stuff because I'm really not trying to hurt anybody's feelings or ruffle any feathers, but there's a lot of negativity out there. Okay. So just, you know, be discerning <laughs> with the spiritual messages or the advice you're getting or what you're really programming yourself, like music that you listen to. And like, if you fall asleep to music, things like that. I don't know, Gemini, sorry. Sorry for the tangent. But there is something about that. Like, you know, the energy that you're putting out, the energy that you're taking in, it's something that I feel like you alchemize, Gemini, and you control on a very deep level. Let's look into this lurking energy. Is this like on a general level? I feel like it is. I feel like it is the collective that likes, uh-oh, that's way too many, so we're not going to take all that. Somebody's been resting, though, and they're 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 feeling like they want, I'm hearing they want to get Randy. What, what does that even mean? They want to get Randy. Is somebody's name Randy? Page of Cups? Okay, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this could be a collective energy, Gemini, where like, yeah, a lot of people are definitely into you and, you know, they watch you and things like that. But I do feel like we're picking up on a particular person here, for sure. Somebody has seen the truth about you. I feel like they've seen that truth because they watch you a lot or they've done some kind of research. I've been picking that up lately, like somebody doing intel on you, Gemini. Somebody might work in IT or something like that. Somebody is very... Um, magnetized by you or turned on by you. Somebody definitely sees you as a soulmate. You know, okay, Gemini. Who is this person that's watching Gemini? Actually, first, I'm sorry. I know the suspense. I need to get a drink. <clears throat> I've been so busy. Just want some side shit, guys. I've been so busy that literally by the end of the day, my voice is gone. Like, it's never really happened in my life before. But I guess I have never been this busy in my life before. So there you go. Everybody's got, even me, with my talking. We all have fucking limits. Who would have known? Anyways, okay. So what's going on with this? This lurker. Who is this person? 
that's lurking on Gemini. This person that's lurking on Gemini Collective. Ooh, mom's the word. They're like, I <laughs> they're like, I don't want to know. Yeah, very defensive energy. We have the seven of wands that came out. Well, I guess it came out reverse, but we're gonna take it up right because I don't normally read reversals. Seven of Wands with the Knight of Cups. You know, I'm kind of getting a reversal energy too, though. I feel like there could be somebody that has their defenses up against you, Gemini. And it might not be just against you. It might be against people, feelings, things in general. We pick up on this energy all the time. People who can't accept their own feelings that they have within them, whatever, okay? Um, I do get that energy here, though. I feel like this person has had some kind of like, again restrictive energy like maybe they allow themselves to be in your energy but not too much I feel like if they know if they got too much into your energy it's like yeah <laughs> word is bond that's what we came here to do right I don't know why this person's messing around um I also get the energy here too with the seven of wands going to come out reverse this person is letting down those boundaries or they want to okay there might be something about your energy I'm hearing that song from Ariel where she's like oh that song okay I feel like there's something about your energy that calls to them okay definitely there's something about your energy that calls to them with this moon I feel like this person is having a hard time resisting again they know the power here of the ocean I feel like they've experienced it already or they can just feel it you know it's like it's all fun and games until you're out there on the boat in the middle of the ocean and the ocean is all you can see every direction you turn that's to me is <laughs> I'm just like, no, thank you. But yeah, that's the kind of the feeling you get. It's very intense, okay? It's serious suddenly. And that's the energy that I get here. I also feel like, Gemini, again, what I had said before, people find your spirit endearing. They find how you are like enduring. They love the fact that you've went through a lot. Um, and maybe not obviously that it's hurt you and it's caused you pain, but it's something so relatable about you or there's something about you where people really feel like you get it. Okay. Um, and there's something that pulls people in, in that energy too. Like how much of a fighter you are for some of you guys, how sassy you are or how you really are just yourself. You know, like I said, you're lovely, but you're also a little like, you know, it's almost like a hidden weapon or a secret weapon type of energy here. Oh, I didn't put the cards out. So that's the person who's watching you. This is somebody who has a lot of feelings for you, Gemini, where they feel very drawn in. They feel very intuitively led towards you. Maybe the feelings haven't really deepened too much yet because we do have the Knight of Cups. This isn't like the King of Cups or Two of Cups or something like that. This is somebody who they do want to offer you something or they, or we got to be careful sometimes with this energy because this cup is empty, right? It's like, is he coming to give or is he coming to just take, you know? But I feel like, again, you also know your worth, Gemini. You, you're not an amateur, right? You're only going to accept equal will give and take and so that will be sorted out accordingly is almost the energy I'm getting okay but either way I feel like it's like newer emotions that are developing here for some of you guys but yeah somebody definitely likes to watch you I feel like this person might try not to watch you though with the seven of wands like they try not to <laughs> I don't know okay what what are they watching when they're watching Gemini like what are they watching Let's find out, Gemini. This person's like, mom's the word. These cars were popping out and now it's very silent. This person respects privacy. They want their privacy. I don't feel like this person wants to like have me like give all of their secrets, Gemini. I feel like this person watches your expansion when they're watching you. They're watching your growth. I feel like everyday energy with the Knight of Cup or excuse me, the Knight of Pentacles too, just kind of making your way downtown right? Doing your thing, okay? There's something about that. Maybe this person just sees you at work or in the everyday life. But there is something about your growth too, okay? Like your growth, your healing energy, because the Knight of Pentacles is healing energy for me. And definitely your expansion, the choices you make. Maybe the choices you make overall in your life, like this person likes to watch you. Maybe this person doesn't feel like they're good at making choices. why does this person lurk on Gemini and this could again this could also be collective energy here all right this person is very drawn to you this person feels like you have some kind of answer Gemini or again there's a deep emotion here with this moon energy okay 
So you also, again, as we've already talked about, you might give out like a very nurturing energy. This person likes that, okay? There's also something about the hidden knowledge you give, okay? With this moon energy, maybe you do give out, again, spiritual messages. That could be why a lot of people watch you because this does not have to do, be just for one person. I'm suddenly like stumbling over my words. I feel like this person's like, shut up, <laughs> okay? Um, yeah, this doesn't just have to be for one person. This could be, again, for the collective energy. A lot of people like to watch your advancements and your growth and, you know, what your moves are. Uh, maybe you do something where you have a nice body, Gemini, and they like to watch you while you um, perform or something like that, okay? Again, maybe you give spiritual messages or you're very intuitive or something like that or you're very motivational, okay? Even if you just do something very creative here with this Knight of Cups energy to the moon and the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like people like watching your growth, okay? And again, people like watching you kind of duke it out and battle it out. I don't feel like people, of course there's haters, but again, we're not focusing on them. Fuck them. I'm not giving them an energy, right? So of course there's haters that like watching you, you know, be up against the wall. But I feel like there's people that like watching you like succeed, okay? Because I feel like they gain some kind of encouragement or inspiration from your strength, Gemini. Okay? It's almost like a power up. You power people up. I don't know. That's the energy I'm getting. Yeah. You might decorate or be very pretty or have some kind of nice aesthetic too that people like to watch. Maybe you do like makeup videos or you style something. People might really like that. Okay? I just feel like you draw people in. Again, the moon energy. There's something about you like... You draw people to you. What is this uh, this soul connection, soul contract, this promise energy, pinky promise? This is like best friends for life. So giving me that um, scene from the stepbrothers where he's like, did we just become best friends? Yup. <laughs> That's the energy I'm getting. Like, I don't know. Somebody, there could be people around you. Like, again, people get attached to your energy. And this could go up or this could go down. It could get a little strange for some change, especially when the moon's out here. Just saying, this could definitely be for my um, Gemini's that cusp with cancer or you have strong cancer in your chart. We also have Sagittarius out here and that was showing up quite a bit. And of course, Pisces. Yeah, I'm not really picking up anything off these cards, zodiac wise, right? So what is this? Pinky promise energy. Six of Pentacles. For some of you guys, if there is a soul contract here, somebody feels like you guys had a soul contract, like you did make a deal on the other side or in previous lives. Like, you ever talk to somebody on some cheesy crap and be like, no, oh, I'm going to find you in the next life, right? Sometimes I can feel like, oh, so romantic until it's not. And then it's like, please don't. <laughs> please don't find me in the next life. Like, miss me, please. But uh, I feel like that's that kind of energy. Like, somebody feels like that. Like, y'all made a pinky promise in a past life. Like, no matter what happens in this life, we're going to find each other in the next life. And then you have, or that's how people feel about you. People feel like instantly soul bonded to you. I feel like it's because of the energy you give. And that's why you really have to monitor that. You really do have to have strong boundaries here and be able to cleanse your energy and keep your uh, space very safe, Gemini. So people might feel like you give and then you just cut it off. And, the, and it can trigger people because it's like, but you were giving so much and why would you stop? And I'm not saying that you should be like that, Gemini. I don't really actually feel like that's a healthy energy. Like it should be more like, um, like, yeah, like a constant flow, right? Of energy exchange here instead of like, okay, I'll give, I'll give. And then I'm stopping and letting you get the hint that you need to give to. Okay. So there is this energy here of maybe needing to work on that, a more con consistent flow. Like take the hint the first time. If people aren't naturally giving to you, then don't give to them, right? But that is something that people do like about you and that people feel very bonded because you have a very giving energy. You might be very charitable. You might go out in your community and do a lot of things or you might just be very helpful, very nice, very friendly, okay? I'm getting the energy of Scrooge. I don't know why, <laughs> okay? Gemini I feel like maybe you were very mean or you have a reputation some people you know I always say that all the time uh, like this and that are true about me too you could ask some people you know about me and they'd be like listen she's the most cold-hearted bitch I've ever met in my life fuck her <laughs> okay like I'm so serious Gemini I am so serious but then you could ask other people and they'd be like no she has helped me she's been a, a, like a blessing in my life and I feel like this or that are true not to have a big head and say all that but I have been told that I've been a blessing in people's lives so I'm just gonna go ahead and just say it right but I feel like yes this and that are true 
okay? Um, and I feel like that's the same with you. Like this and that are true. You can be very loving and you can be very giving, but you can also turn that off or be cold if needed. Or again, I feel like honestly, put people into their place. Like I feel like you're a fighter a little bit, Gemini. And again, somebody likes that about you or people do like that about you. They feel bonded in that energy. People want to offer to you. I feel like, Gemini, there's this energy of you give to people and there's people who do want to be able to give back to you. They don't want to feel like just charity cases in your life. Like, oh, Gemini always has to pet me up and give me a pep talk. Gemini always has to help me out. Gemini always got to give me a ride. Gemini always has to do this. Like people, I feel like there's people around you that they don't always want to be on that end of receiving from you. So I don't know, Gemini. I don't know, but that's just kind of the energy I'm getting here. But yeah, I do feel like there's a specific person or there's a specific like soul group that I feel like you guys, maybe you all got in a circle and did like a circle pinky promise or something like the Power Rangers or something. But there's like this group here. I'm getting like a group energy or a, a couple people that feel this way about you. Like, yes, we are soulmates, even if it's just like, you know, it doesn't always have to be romantic. And for a lot of you, it might not even be romantic. It might just be like, this is just a soulmate, like, you know. I don't know that's kind of what I'm getting yeah even in death <laughs> that's what I heard even in death I do feel like there's there is that kind of energy Gemini I feel like there's something here where you have made a pinky promise with somebody to meet up in this life and work on clearing out some kind of karmic um cycles cycles that need to be cleansed out so you can have a rebirth within your soul okay and this is definitely a contract here so I do feel like this contract is meant to be like equal because traditionally the Six of Pentacles is talking about equal give and take, even though the card isn't showing that. The card is always showing this person in the red giving to the other two, right? Um, I feel like there might this might be something that's happened in a past life, like maybe you were always giving to this person in the past life or they were always giving to you or something and now in this past life it's supposed to be reversed or it's just supposed to be more equal like again you guys are meant to learn balance in this past life or this life excuse me with each other that's just kind of the energy that i'm getting i feel like there's something here about having a rebirth within a soul connection because of the karma that you're meant to clear out together. Like this is a very healing energy to me. So yeah, I do feel like that. And for some of you guys, this could definitely show up as karmic energy for sure. Karmics have their place. It's not like, oh God, we should just rid the whole world and universe and everything of karmic energy. It's like karmics teach us a lot if we're willing to see the lesson and not put ourselves in the victim mode you know, karmics do, they teach us a lot about ourselves. Okay. So there's this energy here of that, like, there's just people who feel like meeting you teaches them things about themselves. Again, you're just very deep here, or you're very intense. Your energy is very intense. Jim and I, I feel like there, for some of you guys, there's somebody who's not around anymore. Like they're not here. Um, they passed, they transitioned. Um, this could have been a romantic partner. For some of you, I am getting that this was a romantic partner. For some others of you, it's just a family member or a friend or something like that, okay? But this person, like, they watch you from the other side or there's this promise that y'all are going to meet again, okay? Scorpio energy heavily. We have Cancerian, Pisces, Sagittarius again. I already said all that. Um, Gemini, I feel like somebody on the other side wants you to know that you're going to see each other again. Like, this is not the end of you guys' soul contract. It's just, a, you know, they had to go first. That was how it went, okay? I'm getting, like, really sad suddenly. So there is that energy of somebody feeling really sad about the fact that they had to let you go. They had to leave you. This could be somebody who's still on Earth, too. Like, maybe somebody had to. They had to let you go. They had to leave you. Maybe they were already involved in the contract they couldn't get out of, right? Um, but they instantly recognize the soul connection. Maybe this is the person who watches you. I don't know. Maybe there's a couple people who have felt that way about you because Jim and I, I feel like to be with you, like to be your life partner, they, there's an energy of, of having to energetically level up and, and it's not an energetic level up to please you, right? Like you're not asking anybody to level up to be able to sit at your fucking table. <laughs> like it's not like that. It's just that to sit at your fucking table, you do have to level up. 
just being in your energy because you're very, your energy is very sacred to you and you don't let people in. You might give a lot. You might be out in your community doing a lot. Um, you might have like a strong social media presence for some of you guys or in your community, whatever you do for a living, like you're, you're popular, you're well known or something like that. But people who actually get to like be in this intimate space with you, that's very far and few in between, Gemini. Okay. And so there's almost this energy here where it's like, a lot of people have had to let you go. A sail away. Okay, they've had to. Bye. Right? I, can't, I just can't do it. Okay? <laughs> like, it just, you know? And it's sad. It's so sad because I feel like you're just like, you're like that orca that we were talking about in the beginning. Like, I just want to play. <laughs> but like, but playing with you could kill me. Like, you could crush me. Like, you jump up in the air. Wee! And like, you, you know? <laughs> I don't know. There's something about that. Like, you don't... Maybe you don't always see your own strength or your own power, but other people do. It's like the moon. Like, does the moon even realize <laughs> how bright it is? Or, like, does the sun really even realize that? I don't know, you know? But there's something there. Let's go ahead and keep going because this is a longer message, but I guess it's okay. What is this divine feminine energy with this cleansing energy? We'll do this together since it came out together. Sail away again. Okay, like again, I feel like this is you though. Like you do have very strong energetic boundaries. You know, I feel like you're always on to the next and not in the energy of like people. I mean, I guess I don't really know y'all. I don't know any of you guys really. So yeah, maybe you are on to the next person after person, Gemini. But I don't get that. I kind of get like this is you being a visionary. This is you being very innovative. This is you knowing when it's time to cleanse your energy, remove yourself from a toxic cycle because you've learned these lessons, you know? It's like, and that's again, another reason why people do have to energetically level up to sit at your table, to be your life partner or to be your friend or to really be in your energy like that. Like there is a level up that's necessary because you're not going to go through the same old lessons. I know my worth or I know how to have a grown up relationship or, or whatever, you know? So it's kind of like, there's that energy here of like, you know, you know when to show yourself out. You don't wait. There's almost this energy of like, I'm not going to wait for you to figure out that we're not right for each other, that this is going to work or I'm not going to accept this kind of disrespect or whatever. I'm just going to show you with my actions. You know, because there's something here about being this cloaked energy. It's giving me like, you know, how like when you're cloaked by the divine and like you throw that robe over you and you're caught in the spirit. Like I guess maybe that's just in Southern churches or whatever, where you kind of limp off the stage, like <laughs> that kind of energy. I'm kind of getting like, like that Gemini, like being very like divinely cloaked and this being like your spirit guide like getting you up out of there <laughs> that's just for somebody i don't know i just do feel like you are always looking at the deeper perspective in things okay let's get one more tarot on this and then we're going to get additional messages and call it a day okay the lovers there you are gemini four of wands wanting to come out I don't really want to keep the four of wands out but I guess it doesn't really matter um and the ace of wands Gemini so that's five wands that is chaos conflict right and I feel like you have went through a lot of that too and that is something that is part of I believe your soul's journey as a Gemini right I do feel like Gemini's go through a lot of lessons we go through a lot of like this is life this is reality um, time to grow up kid like that kind of energy because we are the children of the zodiac so it only makes sense right everybody everybody's trying to get children to to know that life is real or see the harsh realities of life or to stop acting like kids at least that's how it feels nowadays and I kind of get that energy too with you like in the zodiac like all the other zodiac signs are kind of like mm, Gemini, you need to grow up <laughs> like why though you know I don't know <laughs> There is something, though, about the choices you make. And your choices, they are, again, deeper than just the surface level, right? Because, yes, the lovers talks about a soulmate and all that good stuff. But it also talks about spiritual choices that you make. Choices that you need to make from your heart. Choices that resonate within your soul. And they're not always the easiest choices or even the nicest choices. Sometimes, yeah, you got to sail away <laughs> from people or places or things. And they're just like, uh, sad. <laughs> But they're like, but we'll see you next lifetime, Gemini. <laughs> I promise I'll be better. You're like, okay, bye. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and just, uh, what do I want to use? I wanted to use these ones, but I kind of want to use these ones. I don't know. Maybe I'll do another reading after this. And we'll use those ones. 
but we do have angel of abundance popping out on the bottom of the deck so bam okay even though this really wasn't about money but some of you guys yeah you do have some kind of like energy where you are meant to make some kind of money and have an abundant uh life here what else do we have additional mes messages slash advice please for gemini actions lead to success with breakthrough on the bottom of the deck again so yeah actions lead to success and i feel like a lot of people like to watch your growth or the actions that you do take the success that you do have in life gemini okay i feel like a lot of people are it encourages them or inspires them but this is also spirit saying that you do need to take action you can't just again stay out there floating in the ocean um enjoying the deepness of it all right <laughs> like you really do need to take actions here um with if you want to see results and progress okay i just feel like that's just an, again an additional message anything else we have claim your power coming out with perception i feel like that's something that you've went through like over and over and over again having to realize yourself all all over again you know like all of the sadness that you went through all the trials all the tribulations okay it kind of made you see things in a really um it feels like some a really real way is the energy I'm getting. But yeah, I do feel like your ancestors, your guides, they want you to claim your power, Gemini. They want you to see you in your full intensity for who you truly are, okay? We have shake, release, heal, and move on, Gemini. Anything else? And then we have small steps, big accomplishments. I feel like this is all kind of just echoing everything that I already said. I feel like I maybe already said enough. And Spirit's like, you got this, <laughs> okay? But anyways, Gemini, I, I hope that reading helped. I hope it resonated. I hope it did something. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.